All right, here's what's going on right now. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a new uh, crankshaft position sensor, which is located right here. It's hard to see. This wire comes into it, and that's where it goes. The one I bought off Amazon, it said it was the right one for the vehicle, but when I got it, it was not the right one. Uh, so I went, returned it, ordered a new one. When I came to order the new one, there was an option to buy one from the Amazon warehouse that Amazon warehouse sells like returns or or uh, open box or things like that. And so I was a little hesitant, but uh, I got one anyway. It was roughly about half the price of the original one I bought. So the original one was like $18.99 or something. And this one was like $11. And so I got it, it was like, oh, the box is like damaged and stuff, as you can see. It's like crushed a little bit. But inside the item, you know, it's brand new. It's never been installed, you could tell, you know. So I think I'm doing all right. The one I originally ordered, it only had two prongs in there. And mine has three. I need three. So, that's what I got this. So, hopefully it's alright. Now, it's supposed to be easy to replace. It's supposed to be able to just use a 10 millimeter wrench. Unscrew the bolt. Pop this one out. Put the new one on. Hook the thing back up. We're going to see. I don't know. It's not that easy to get to. Um, I don't have a crazy amount of different types of you know specialty wrenches or whatever um so i don't know we'll see i have popped this off before just this, this isn't really so difficult there's a clip on here that pops off and then Drop it. Don't! Oh, it's right here. It's right there. On top of the little fan belt. There it is. Alright, so that's the clip. Got that. Now this should just pop right off. There it is. So, there's that. So it matches up to my new one hopefully so I can make sure we're starting to bolt and stuff oh, here's the new one it's going like this let me see yeah it goes in like this let's just see if it Yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, so that's gonna be good. I'll move that out of the way. Put this back. Now I gotta see if I can get the wrench onto that bolt. Got the wrench going the right way. It's really hard to see this. It's right there. I don't know if I can do it like this. I would take this pipe out of the way, this top radio hose pipe, but it's not going to help me because the metal part extends quite a bit up to here, so it's not really going to help me any to try and take this off. That I could tell. All right, gonna take this extension off. Maybe I'll do it without the extension. I 
I watched a few uh, videos on this. So. That's really difficult to get to. All right, so I was able to get the bolt out. I just cracked it with the wrench and then wiggled it out with my finger. Wasn't so bad. Now I'm trying to wiggle the sensor thing out and just give it a little twist. Pull it. There it is. So, here's the old one. Um, and here is the new one. Very much close to the same thing. I should put a little bit of grease around this, or oil around this uh, uh, little gasket. So, the way I'll do that is I'll take the dipstick out. There'll be oil on the dipstick. Put the oil from the dipstick around the gasket thing. Put it back in. Go take my finger, run it around it so that it's lubricated. Okay, now I will just stick it back in. Went right back in. Move it up to the way the. There it is. It's in there tight now. Take the bolt. Try and thread the bolt back in by hand. Careful not to drop it. It's hard to find the hole. It's such a tight spot here. Alright, so it took me a little bit of struggling, but I was able to get the bolt back in there. I just had to get the right angle with my fingers. So now it's time to put this electronic thing back on. Just put it back on the same way it came off. Put it over the thing. Push it on and in and it clicks a little bit. You feel it. Then put the little, uh, what do you call it, Mac? This little cover clip. Thing. Which way does it go? Does it go like that or does it go like that? I think it goes like that. Should go for it with my fat fingers. Things are always a pain in the neck. If you don't get 
get them on there right. Don't put it back. The thing could wiggle off. back off maybe maybe not Jesus that's not coming off for nothing let me see which way does this thing go let's go that way does it go that way I think it goes this way because the greasiness of it is on the outside of it. So that means it's outside to the grease. Alright, so let's try that. There it is. That's it. Got it. Just have to get it in there just right on there. All right, so this is no guarantee that this is going to fix my problem. Uh, I had this, uh, the truck started running rough, like idling rough and running rough. And I put it on the, uh, the code machine and it came up with three parts and the problem was the rough idling uh, could be one of three items or all three items which is camshaft crank position sensor uh, this other thing that's right in here that's the uh, um, solenoid the crankshaft or something I can't remember the exact name of it solenoid which is here which is not that easy to get to to replace um because I probably have to remove or something with the, the power steering or the water pump here no the power steering pulleys in the way uh, and there's one other thing that's over on the other side of the engine that's some kind of, uh, well, it was a vacuum thing or something. Anyway, it's three parts. This was the easiest one to get to and the cheapest part was this one. So I did it first. And if this doesn't fix it, the next move is probably... It might be that vacuum thing or whatever it is under there. That's pain in the neck to get to because you got to go under the truck and lay under the truck and everything to do it. But you don't have to take apart, you know, parts of the truck to get to it. You just to unclamp a couple clamps and get to it. But anyway, and also I googled it and researched on YouTube. This is very common uh, for a truck, this truck, this brand, this motor. This 600, uh, six cylinder, 4.2, six cylinder. Once they get like 150, 160,000 miles or so, this is the problem. And that's exactly what I got. I got like 160,000, and this is the problem. And replacing these three things usually uh, clears it up. So, that's what we're at. Um, 
I'll start the truck up. See if anything changes. If not, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll end this. I might end this video right here. Or if it clears it up and everything, I might put it back on and get here. I'll clear the truck runs. All right. All right. So I thought I'd do up uh, after replacing the the crankshaft position sensor. The truck definitely is running better. Definitely much better. I don't know if it's a hundred percent, you know, running its best. Um, I took it on a run, about 15 miles round trip, and it's, I don't have the stuttering or anything like that, like I was having. Um, so, I'm going to call this successful. Uh, I still might look into replacing some of the other parts. They're not really that costly. And... I can do it myself, but yeah, there's the shaft position sensor, right there, you can see it, uh, it wasn't that hard to replace or anything, I would suggest that anybody could do this, uh, all you need is a 10 millimeter wrench, a socket, and a screwdriver, and that's about all you need. That's where we're at now. Alright, I'm out.